And now, KCAU 9 presents Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at the local sports action begins now. We're the LCC dance team. You're watching Sports Zone, and the highlights start now. Woo! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the KCU 9 Sports Zone. I'm Anthony Mitchell. Alongside me, Rock'em Sock'em Noah Sacco. That is a world-class nickname, and we have a ton in store for you tonight. Top matchups, big plays, and of course, our player of the week. But first, we'll start off our night with our Sports Zone Game of the Week taking place in the state of Nebraska, featuring two Class D1 undefeated squads, the Plainview Pirates and the Laurel Concord Coleridge Bears. Both teams coming to this one averaging over 33 points per game in their first two contests. Second quarter, Bears on the Pirates' five-yard line. Dylan Taylor keeping it himself on the triple option, and the extension gives him the touchdown. LCC strikes first, 8-0. Elastigirl. <laughs> Plainview at a response. The ensuing drive, Jackson King gets the call up the gut. He answers. No two-point conversion, though, making it an 8-6 game. Under three minutes left in the half, Taylor dropping back and going for the home run ball to Dan Pugh. They connect 46 yards. Pitch and catch brings the Bears to a 16-6 edge. And they'd get one more for good measure before the half. Taylor has Jake Routh over the middle for the goal line score and a 24-6 lead as LCC moves to 3-0. 48-14 the final. Wow, yet another big game to kick off sports on, am I right? Absolutely. But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action. Going with the top rank, Wes Sue taking on reigning sports zone player of the week, Zach Lutmer and the CLGLR Lions. It was a battle of undefeated teams at Rock Rapids tonight. Lions won last year's matchup by a landslide. No score in the first. The Iowa commit Zach Ludmer tossing it over to a wide open Isaiah Johnson. He strolls into the end zone. Lions up early, 7 to nothing. Later in the first, Ludmer back in the shotgun. He'll dump it off for Grand Even. He gets the edge and he's got a full head of steam all the way down inside the 20 for a 34 yard gain. And then moments later, the Lions a few yards outside of the final painted line. They give it back to Eben and he's in for six more. Central with a 14 point advantage. In the second quarter, Lutmer right back to work. This wow. time dropping an absolute dime into the hands of Reese Vanderzee. A CLGLR stays perfect on the year, 44-6 the final. Moving over to Elwood Olsen Stadium where Sioux City North welcomed Des Moines North into town. And their two meetings, the Stars outscored the Polar Bears 73-14. Home team moving down the field less than a minute before halftime. Marco Young takes the handoff, breaking a couple of tackles while keeping his balance all the way for a huge touchdown. Our week one player of the week helps add the lead. Next quarter, Carson Strobing hands it off to the Young again. Running back would do the rest, turning on the Jets for another score. As Sioux City North kept their foot on the gas pedal, picking up the 45-22 win. Erico can run, that's for sure. Staying in the area, Sergeant Bluff Luton looking to get back in the win column against number three, Harlan. Cyclones with the ball. Bradley Curran takes the handoff and turns on the Jets down the far sideline for a huge gain. What a start for the road team as he's pushed out there. That hope Harlan gets to the one yard line where Tegan Casperbauer takes it himself for the score. Cyclones strike first. Warriors looking to respond though. Xavion Ellington takes it up the middle for a nice gain, but the home team not able to score. Later, Casperbauer looking deep and he connects with Kate Sears for a TD. It's hard. Defeats SBL 42-14. At Northwestern, number eight, MLC Floyd Valley taking on Storm Lake. Dutchman only allowing one TD thus far. He'd get things going with a Storm Lake fumble recovered by Jackson Mulder at the 35. He plays later at MLC Floyd Valley with an early touchdown. From Carson Yeager with a 14-yard TD. Dutchman up 6-0. Check this out after three penalties on MLC Floyd Valley. Take a look at this return. Aiden Klein brings the ball up 70 yards. Breaking ankles in the process. Soon after, Braden Conch catches in for the touchdown, adding a two point conversion, and the Dutchman up 14 zip as the Dutch win it big 41 0. And at the Moville, number three Woodbury Central looking to continue their way up the rankings. They take on IKM Manning. Under a minute to halftime, Wildcats Ryder Coley taking the pitch and bowling his way in for the touchdown, extending Woodbury's lead 20 to zip. Moving to the start of the third now, when Woodbury Central will opt for the squib kick, and they are able to recover amongst that scrum there. Then the offense would drive down the field with Max McGill of Woodbury Central. He'd 
eventually finish it off with a short run into the end zone to continue extending the WC lead. Ikea Manning trying to find an answer on offense, but the defense came to play, causing a fumble here. And Wildcats pitch a shutout tonight, going on to win it 40 to nothing. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Plus, who is going to win our Player of the Week award? Some great candidates in our remaining games. Stay in the zone. We're the Kingsley Pearson Panther cheerleaders. Don't go anywhere. Sports Zone will be right back. Woo!